Insanity. So I'll play John. For sure I'll play John. We'll see what I can do here. Let's see what John has. And I get to be white. I don't know if he challenged random. I get to be white here. I know just what to do against John. Bring out the stuff. But does John know? Does he know about the triple Muzio Gambit? Is there such a thing? Are you prepared to deal with, uh, with, uh, this one? Should I bust it out? Should I bust it out? Should I give John my rook? Boop! You want a rook? He was ready. He was ready for bishop takes f7. But was he ready for the dreaded sacrifice of a rook? Did you see that one coming? That's probably a good move. Or? Yeah, that's probably a good move. So if e4, he was just going to take with his bishop. So I'm going to... Uh, not play d4. I'm going to still offer the rook. Does he want my rook? Does he want an entire rook? Won't you take it? Won't you take my rook? Maybe bishop to b2? Offering offering him a bishop? Is that the way? Maybe he just needs a little more enticement to jump his queen on in there. Who knows, guys? Who knows? How are we going to play this against John? Boop! How about that? How about that? Not getting distracted. John is a man of principle. He is not getting distracted by my dreaded sacrifices. So now we will simply uh, get this king exposed over here, guys, and develop our stuff. It is time to simply develop, and we threaten rook to e1 with a powerful mega attack here against John. I don't know how he's going to weather the storm. I think... Uh, I think he could be in a lot of danger. He is trying desperately to get his bishop into the game. If uh, if bishop to g4, I suppose I have queen d3. Um, do I have better than that? Probably not. So he could gain another tempo. Or will it backfire? He's sacking a queen. John's giving a queen back. But how much material has he won? Do we even want that silly, silly queen? I've also just noticed another trick over there. How badly do we want the queen? We don't want it. We hate queens around here. We just love to attack. Let's see where he's going to put it. Where is the queen going to go? Queen f5 maybe? But then... We're looking around. We're desperately wishing we were mega attackers around here. How are we going to do it? Still offering the queen. This guy is crazy. This guy's crazy. We'll take it now. We will now take that queen. Uh, we might sack a rook here, you know. That looks pretty, pretty scary. That looks pretty scary. But you know what? Let's, how, we, how do we want to play? Let's just open it up, you know, guys. It's about, you win the game by getting to that king. We got to remove this f-pawn. We got to get it out. Uh, material is equal. He's trying. He's trying to be tricky. He is definitely trying to be tricky here. So let's shut down this diagonal. He is going for my rook. Rooks do not matter. I don't know if you guys know this. I don't know if you got the memo. Rooks matter 0% in the game of chess. Uh, pretty much the dumbest piece there is out there. What is more important is getting this guy. That is all that matters. John up. Whopping amounts of material. But virtually checkmated here. Absolutely no chance of withstanding the storm. Queen and rook versus the king. Lots of pieces hanging. This is a target. We are crashing through here. We are going to destroy this guy. Looking promising for white. That's a piece. This one we take. Then we attack the, the knight. What we need to worry about is the rooks doubling up for a queen attack. But you know what? When you're up so much material, all you need to do... What do you need to do? Let's find one more diagonal to the king. Bloop! And then one simple, easy, defensive move, and the game should be ours. Let's just simply defend against an easy, easy threat. What's up, Neil? Pin this knight and bring the queen in. The house is going to collapse here, and we are going to super crush this guy. Let's get a little closer to this king. Threaten here. Um, you know what? It's time to... We got this majority going, right? 
Time to get the majority pushing. Um, it looks like this knight is super pinned, will never be able to move for the rest of its life. So we just simply play over here. We got this big majority going. That does not blunder a piece, unfortunately. So what if I attack this rook, though? Time! Uh-oh. Time is the only thing that could stop me from winning this game. Um, but looks like I've attacked this rook, removing the defender of this knight. If he goes here, I can simply take the knight because there's going to be a pin. There's not going to be a checkmate. John is going down, burning in flames. There's a pin, so I can take here. Tearing it up. All I need to worry about now is speed. Thank you very much to Staccato, gifting Jamie a sub. I appreciate it so much. Um, looking for a cheapo. Boop! It worked! Boop! I had a little checkmating cheapo, and it worked. We took him down. Good game, John. That was the most fun game I've ever played in my life. So I'm going to analyze this one. Um, yeah, this was our this was our secret John prep. I have to admit, John, I did prepare this opening. Meaning I Googled. <laughs> Thanks, RJ Plus, for the follow. I Googled the triple Muzio. Didn't actually analyze it with a computer. So I think we're about to find out that... Uh, oh, you knew about this triple Muzio? <laughs> I think not very good. Let's see if that's an understatement. <laughs> um... So in this game, obviously, the bold and mighty John. Let's let's keep track. That's one piece. Oh, thanks, King Dove. Oh, wow. That's more bits than I can even count. Looks like 510. Thank you so much. Um, yes, yeah, so obviously, the bold and mighty John. Super well prepared for a second sacrifice here. I think taking on F7. It's got to be on the radar. But I am trying to offer yet another piece. This is the second piece I offered. Take my rook. I'm so, I didn't know if you were able to take it or not, honestly. And I guess this bold and mighty computer just says, easiest piece I've ever taken in my life. My intention was to take here. And unfazed, the computer plays queen to d8. So I sort of saw after, I was going to take here, that I'd have some big attack. But I guess the way to do this is here. We're going to come back and see how to actually defeat the, the triple Muzio. But, so here, this is some draw. Like, no matter where you go, I just keep checking you. And the computer's like, I'm down a million pieces, so I should make a draw. Like, I wouldn't have. I would have, like, just, you know, blocked your queen in and then tried to, like, checkmate you. Anyway, but, so apparently this is bad. But taking here, so this is actually a draw. Holy cow. Holy cow. Uh, so you have to play king to d8. And I had this idea in mind of trapping this queen in here. Um, <laughs> yeah, would you guys have, you guys have, uh, played just King D8, like, no big deal, I'm winning? So this seems to be a pretty normal part of Black's plan in this ridiculously insane position. And then, 97, okay, just get your stuff up, you're winning, okay, you're just winning. Look at this, look at this fool, gave away the rook, and even if you have to eventually, if I move my bishop and you have to take that rook at some point... Not a big deal. Look how much stuff. White blundered all the pieces. Easy, easy win, guys. So, probably not sound this one, but only because of King D8. Um, after this check, so I don't. So D4, I think, actually would be a pretty big mistake. Um, I played King H1. D4, I'm pretty sure he takes with a bishop now, which would be the problem. I wasn't worried about queen takes, but bishop takes seems like a legit concern. Um, oh, there. Dang, it's actually crazier than I thought, but maybe, maybe. Okay, but king h1, best move. Now, at this point, I could consider d4. And things are not so bad after d4. Um, but what bishop takes is, again, what I'm most worried about. The computer has no chance. The computer cannot understand what the heck is going on. Um, because of queen h5. I don't know. There's a lot of moves that neither one of us would have played or found. <laughs> so that's the point of this opening but here i offer another piece so that's i'm trying to keep track that's three pieces now this is a triple muzio I've, I've tried to give you three pieces now i'm offering the bishop um the chief point again being i was going to go here i might have even thrown this in because i'm feeling a bit crazy it's during a real game i might have given you another piece here uh what's up it's prake how you doing prake uh, but yeah, the chief point is trapping this queen out of the game and then trying to mate after some capture here and some relentless attack. This shouldn't really work, like, in theory level, but this is real life. In real life, 
you can sack all your pieces. So John tried to play it safe, and whoa, knight a3. Knight a3. I don't even get it. What is knight? Oh, knight a3 for rookie one. Oh, this would have been sweet. That would have been sweet, offering another piece. Oh, dang it. This could have been the quadruple. I could have done a quadruple Muzio <laughs> offering this for rookie one. It's not even... It's not like greater winning, but come on. As soon as we get as soon as we get the computer to say equal, we're gonna win because we have the attack. Like we just gotta get that computer to say equal. Like things are fine, and then like we're gonna we're gonna checkmate them. <laughs> but dang, I could have could have gone for the quadruple. Uh, but in the game, I'd only offered three, so that's four. That's four. That's four pieces now that I've either offered or directly sacrificed. Um, I've tried to give you as many as I can. Didn't trade here. John absolutely crushing it. But yeah, we got to bring this rook in. Um, so yeah, here is where it gets interesting. This is kind of where, realistically, you let me back into the game. I think yeah, queen f5, which is a very typical move, even in the, the double muzio. It's just such a good square for the queen. Not easy to harass her. Just defends this pawn and keeps the f-file shielded. So this queen f5 is, is a very tough move to crack. Um... But yeah, now I'm back in the game. And here's good. I could have obviously taken the queen, but I think it actually is stronger. I got to keep the pressure going. And I think, <laughs> I, I can't even count the material, but that's not what is even important here. And here though, why'd you give me the queen here? So this was the one that shocked me. Did something scare you? Do I have a scary move here? Uh, thanks, it's Prake for the follow. Do I have a scary move here? Like, I don't think I do. What's the worry? What happens if you take back? I guess just rookie four. I guess this is scary. John, John was scared of something here. This actually is, is very strong for me. So, if you can't play queen f5... Well, okay. Well, you have to find rook e8. If you play rook e8, you're fine. Okay, so that makes sense why there's, like, you scared of something. Uh, you intentionally declined it. <laughs> oh, in your head, you took the rook on a1. <laughs> but then it came back into the game. Um, yeah, so it gave back the queen. So at this point realistically i don't like i don't actually know what's happening during a game or whatever but once i get this queen back then practically this should be good for me queen f2 never gonna happen uh so now it yeah made some threats in here yeah here i made a very good decision giving up that rooks rooks do not matter one bit dumbest piece in the game when you're trying to checkmate somebody and he somehow has to resist the temptation and just try to hold but i mean bishop g4 come on this is, I mean, this line is fine. This is why you play this as white, because black has to find, like, bishop g4. You have to find stuff that nobody's actually going to find. People are going to take the rook, and you're going to get this checkmating attack. So, dang, nice. And I found a nice, clever little way of avoiding any back rankies. And did I mess up somewhere? No, the computer just, the computer freaks out because it has no idea what's going on. It's not used to this kind of crazy, ridiculous <laughs> imbalances. Um, did I... I don't have me here, so yeah, I gotta put this pawn here so I can go back, try to force the same situation, and get that checkmate. So, thank you, John. Yeah, you better book up on the triple Muzio, and hopefully we'll, uh, we'll have another encounter. I'll come up with something. I'm always, I'm always prepping for my, my highly intense matches with John. Um, it was actually a pretty intense game. I might even put that on YouTube if you're, if you're cool with it. So... That was a fun one, and I look forward to all of our future encounters. Um, cool. Yeah, yeah, I'll probably put that one up on YouTube. That all being said, I am going to really quick run and get more coffee because that took it out of me. Um, start saying random openings on, <laughs> on the channel. Born to be a YouTube star. Okay, cool. I guess I'm taking that as full permission to put all my games against John here and in the future on the YouTube channel.